Whipster stands for Work in Progress. It's a powerful collaboration and review tool that has tight integration with both Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. To check out a trial version, follow my link in the video description. Hey everyone, so today I'm going to teach you about texturing inside of Adobe After Effects. And we're going to do it through this cool passport stamp animation project. So first we're going to do all the graphic design work inside of Adobe After Effects. Then I'm going to go out and capture some images that I can use as textures. Then I'm going to show you how we can bring those in and really customize them. And then finally I'll create this basic composite shot. All right, so I'm inside of Adobe After Effects now and I have my comp set up. And since my passport is going to be black, I want the background to be a lighter color. So to change that, you can go to Composition, Composition Settings, and then there's your background color right here. So I have it set to a light gray. Now I'm going to zoom this in and I'm going to turn on my title action safe. And I want to go up and, and now first I want to create my passport stamp, but I'm going to do this pretty quickly here. So first I'm going to grab the rounded rectangle shape tool and I'm going to turn on just the stroke and turn off the fill. And 25 pixels is fine. I'm going to quickly draw my borders here and I'll align that. And now I'm going to get on here and duplicate that rectangle. And we'll make a little bit of an inner square here. And I'm going to change the width of this. We can knock that down to 20 and I'm going to actually open up the stroke of this so I can make some other adjustments like I'm going to add some dashes actually, change the cap settings, and then pump this up. So we have a little bit of a different look here. So that's looking good. Okay, let's close this. So now we have our borders or our outline here. Now let's add some text elements. I'm going to hit Command T and I'm going to drop some text in here. So let's change this. And then I'll quickly type in Paris. And now I'm going to bring that up to like, uh, whoa, not that, 200 pixels. That's looking good. And now I can align this and then just bring it down here. There we go. And I'm going to duplicate this. And then we'll have some text up here. Let's change this to, what does medium look like? Medium looks good. And now I'm going to type arrived. And then we'll bring that down to, let's say, 75. There we go. OK. Again, I'm doing this very quickly. We can you know, spend more time customizing this, but I want to get to the cool part, which is the texturing. And if you want to look at the texturing, you can just skip ahead. All right, and now I'm going to add a date. So I'll bring this down and type in 22nd of February 2019 and then I'll scale this up and change the font just try to make it look a little different there we go I can even rotate it a little bit and you know let's scale it up even more okay that's looking fine now let's quickly maybe add a couple icons here I'm gonna add some stars and we'll change, turn the stroke off and turn the fill on. And then we'll quickly create two stars here. Align this. And I'll duplicate it. And I'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right there. I'll grab the other one. And voila. And now for the final touch, I'm going to add this airplane icon that I got from iconfinder.com. This is a PNG with an alpha here. So now I can just drop that in and put it kind of in the upper corner here, as passports usually have. And then there we go. All right, now I'm just going to reposition these a little bit, bring this down a little bit. You know what? I'm bring this down here. Okay, that's looking good. Now I want to put all of this inside of a pre-comp. So I'm going to grab all the layers and do pre-composition and I'll call it uh, passport. And this is going to make it easier to, once I start applying those textures that I create, I'll be able to apply it to everything at once as opposed to editing the individual layers. 
All right, so now I've got my passport stamp designed and ready to go, and I'm ready to add the texture. And there's a ton of different options inside of Adobe After Effects that I could use to design that texture, but I want something a little more organic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my camera out and grab some still images of textures which I can use inside of this project. So I'm kind of lucky when it comes to finding like really cool textures because I live in the suburbs of Paris, so everything around here is old. In fact, the apartment that I live in, this building is over 100 years old, and there's just a ton of different options. So check this out here. I have a bunch of good stuff here. I've taken a couple of images of the different walls here, even the wood on the stairs, this cobblestone out here. I really don't have to go far to find um, some good subject matter. And one thing you want to be sure of is you capture the images at a high enough resolution. So let's say I'm editing in 1920 by 1080. I want to capture something that I'm going to be able to scale up and down, move around and reposition without losing any quality. That's going to give me a lot of customization options. Okay, so now I have all my images here. I have whittled it down to nine images that I think are going to work quite well. So check out these ones that I got here. Now I'm going to bring all nine of these into Adobe After Effects and let's see what we can do here. So I have these textures here. Now what I want to do is I want to bring these and I just want to grab one and I want to bring it over top of my comp here. Now I'm going to zoom out. Actually, let's turn these, let's turn title safe off. Now if I select this, we can see that this is you know, quite large compared to our 1920 by 1080, which is great because we're going to be able to move this around. So now if I want to apply this as a texture, how exactly do I do that? Well, I'm going to be using this as a luma mat or a track mat. So if you look down here in the columns here, it says track mat. And if you don't see this, you can hit this uh, toggle switches modes button and that's going to show you track mat. So what I want to do here is I want to go down to my passport pre-comp here and I want to tell it to use this uh, Boone Textures 01 picture as a luma mat. So I'm going to set that and now we can see our passport stamp and we can actually start to see some patterns here, some texture, but it's not looking very good. It's looking quite washed out. So what we need to do to make this work is to really punch up that contrast. Since we're using it as a luma mat, it's reading the black and white values. So we really want to pump that up. So how can we do that? Well, I'm going to go to my image and I'm going to grab the levels. This is the effects and presets panel, you can go to window and select effects and presets. And then I just typed in levels here. Now I'm going to grab levels, drop it on my image. And now all I need to do is I need to go to this input white and in and gamma, and I'm going to set those both to zero. Okay, and now we got our flat image again. And now all I have to do is pump up this input white. Now watch what happens. You're going to start to see some of that creeping through. Now if I take it all the way, we're going to kind of lose it completely. But if I bring it back down, and if I want precise control, I can hold the command key when I scroll this, and it's going to give me some more fine tune. And that's already looking a thousand times better. Now if I want to customize it even further, I can zoom out here, and when I click on my image, you can see how big this is. So if I move this around, you can see that I can get you know, slightly different looks. Like here we have a bunch of, uh, yeah, see, you can see, can move that. Also, since it's this big, I can scale it down as well. Now, if I want to take a look at my other textures here, and I want to do it quickly, I'm going to open up my textures folder here. All I need to do is swap these out quickly. So what, how I can do that is I'm going to select my image file on the timeline here, and then I'm going to grab my next texture, and then I'm going to drag and hold alt as I drop it over and that'll automatically replace it and you can see it's changed there so now we can see this image and I can just quickly do that with all of these different images so here's my third one and you can see a little preview of it here which one we're specifically looking at this one looks pretty good actually and now I can click and move it around once again and a nice way to do this is if I want to make sure I don't accidentally move the actual passport stamp I can just lock that off so now I can move it by clicking kind of directly over top of it. And that one looks very nice. And once again, I can customize it by going over here to that input white, and I could just totally fade it out. So it's very cool, I have a bunch of different options here. Let's just quickly take a look at some of these others. Very cool, very cool. Well, this one 
can't see that much of. Like I said, some of them just don't work very well. Actually, let's take a look at this wood one. I want to see what this one looks like. Okay, it's a little different. Now, one other cool thing is I could go over here, and if you look, this histogram is keyframable. So I could come here and animate this. Just add a keyframe to my histogram, come out here, and then change this back to zero. And now you're going to see it'll animate on. And we could have it animate, um, you know, all the way. So we could animate in like that. Very, very cool. So now I have this nice passport stamp, but how can I incorporate this in an actual shot? Well, let's take a look at how we can do that via a basic composite. So I have this shot here, and it's just my hand comes in and does a little fake stamp. In fact, I don't have anything in my hand at all. It's just a fist. But once we have this composite, it's going to look like I had a little stamp in my hand there. So what I'm going to do now is grab that passport comp, drag it over top of my shot here. Let's just close this one. Now let's zoom out. Now I can scale this one down and rotate and just kind of position this right over where my hand is at, right where it's stamping. So that's looking good and that size is pretty good. Get it tuned in there. And now I'm simply going to mask this composition to match my hand as my hand moves out. It will reveal the stamp. I'm going to kind of speed through this here. And I want to add a keyframe to my mask path. Now I'm going to use the page down button to go frame by frame. And I can select my whole mask path and just kind of get it into position here. Makes it a little bit easier so we don't have to move every individual you know, keyframe. We can see it's starting to reveal now. Okay, and you can see I only did about seven frames there, and that took a little bit of time. So mad respect to all you rotoscope artists. Wow, very impressive. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and do a little bit of uh, punch up on this on this video. So just kind of there we go. That's looking better. Now let's take a look at our final composite. Now, if you want even more cool texture elements, I suggest to head over to my buddies at Shutterstock. They created this 50 Distressed Textures Pack, and it's available for free, and they created some tutorials, they have an article post. I'll link everything in the, in the description, but be sure to go check that out. Go download those. Those are all ready to go. You can instantly use them as Luma and or Alpha mats. So again, very cool. Now, if you like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to check out Whipster. You can sign up for a trial account by following that link in the video description. I appreciate it. I'll see you next time.